I am Erica Margot. You are watching Emargo TV. This is him and my skin. Grab your champagne glasses and take notes, bitches. Hey, ladies, how are you? I'm gonna give you a moment or two to get your Chardonnay or your champagne. We're having Chardonnay today. I hope you have liked, shared, and subscribed. I hope that I am helping you in a little bit of ways, you know, that I possibly can. So let's just get today started. Um, today I want to talk to you about being in a league all your own, not um, being amongst the crowd, not doing the same thing, sounding the same way. Um, what's making you stand out and be different from every other female? Um, yes, men may fall for the booty girls or that this fad, this uh, fad that we're going through right now, um, where, yeah, it's appealing. What person don't like a big booty shaking and, you know, all of that? Men are visual. So, um, yes, it's, it's, it's appealing to the eye, but it's not satisfying to the heart. So with you ladies, you know, you may be mocking and you're like, oh, you know, this is just who I am and, you know, I'm a, I'm a little bit of that, but I'm a lot of this. You know, you got to be able to bring something, another dynamic to the table and all your own while all of this is going on. Now, back in the day, I, you know, our natural girls were Ania Long, uh, Robin Givens, um, Jasmine Guy. Um, what's the other one that played one? Um, um, who am I thinking about? with the Leela Rashawn, you know, we had natural beauties back in our day and none of these women looked alike. They were just all beautiful. Janet Jackson, just all beautiful. Um, and now everybody fucking looked the same. Excuse me, but I, everybody's eyebrows, like I, I talked with, <laughs> I think I said something about the eye, like everybody looks the same with the fake. Ladies, I, I'm nice, slim, thick. You hear what I'm saying? I don't need to have injections and I can make it shake just as much as the next one. You know, and some of you girls don't even know what you're doing with it. You know, the, the, I know women are getting their breasts done. If you're getting like a lift, you get what I mean? Um, it, because you, you may have had children or I, I don't know, you're just getting older and you breastfed. Like that's something totally different. But trying to be this thing, this look, it, men do get bored with it. Sometimes a man will cheat with it because women, you should have a fantasy thing going on. You get what I'm saying? You're supposed to be doing something different. And there's been times with my fiance, my fiance will come home. It would be, uh, this is, <laughs> cool. this, was, this was a one time, uh, where he came home, and this is when I lived with my one and only guy, and I was like, I'll never live with him again. So if he was to look at these videos, he know it's about him. So I would have rose petals from the, the front door, from the parking lot all the way in, and then it'll be a note, um, you know, saying, you know, so-and-so will be serving you tonight. And he opened up the door, I got a wig on, you know, I got this on, it's a bath made. He was my fiance and we lived together. You get what I mean? You know, I was acting like I was serving, not acting like, but I was serving him. I was giving him a foot massage. And it was so funny because one of his homeboys called, he's like, I can't believe she, she's giving me a manicure right now. Da -da 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 -da. And so I was like acting so subservient. I am subservient when I want to be. You know, I'm hot. I like to talk shit. That's just what I do with the right man. I'll shut the fuck up, but I ain't found the right man yet. So I'm gonna keep fucking talking. But I, I, I gave him something that was different from like all the rest of the girls. You get what I mean? Um, that's just something that I like to do. I love to cater to my man when I'm being treated correctly and, pro you know, properly. Um, like I said, half of the time, I think I did another video where I'm like, what, 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 I don't feel like no one has anything to talk about. You know, for women that are married and you have children, that is 
all you talk about, you talk about your husbands and how you're unhappy and you talk about the kids and the kids were sick, what other aspect of your life, you can, you can balance your life where you have other things to talk about. I don't go out all the time. You know, I'm not saying I'm hitting the streets and I'm whatever, whatever, but I am a little um, savvy to what's going on in some of the world. I'm a little bit savvy to other cultures. I'm a little bit savvy to food. I'm a little bit savvy to different languages um, of the world. I'm savvy to gardening and plants. I'm savvy to old Hollywood movies and like a, a prefler of things. Like half of the time, me trying to talk to somebody my own age, we have nothing in fucking common because I don't know what they're talking about. I was raised by a, my father now is 85 years old. So I have a wide range of what I can bring to the table. So, you know, I got my father's old wisdom and then my oldest sibling, I think is 60 something, I think. And so it's, I got that generation and then my next sibling in age, I think she is um, 48. So it's like a diff it's a lot of tears and it's a lot of uh, who I am that make men fall in love with me. I'm different. I'm intriguing. And I told you, ladies and gents before, only reason why I don't have a man is I haven't found anyone that I want to wake up to for the rest of my life. I may be single. And you, it, it's fun in that. I may find somebody a little later. I still may have some growing to do. I still may have some more adventures to go and have fun. One day I'm going to do a fucking uh, autobiography of all the men I've been with and all the fun that I've had and the adventure, the, the fun. I ha I've, I've lived a, a flavorful, colorful life. So when I'm speaking with you on uh, being a whole a league of your own, you know, what, what makes you different from the next chick? You smell. Don't be smelling all the same. What perfume are you wearing? What does your house smell like? What are you spraying uh, on, your, um, on your linen, you know, when you sleep at night? You know, what, what's the, the latest book that, that you've read? Go learn a second language. You know how sexy that is? You know, for no one's thinking about that. You too busy wanting to be up in a club and, and you want to learn how to twerk. Speak a fucking different language. Take a dance class. I mean, there are so many different things uh, that you can do. Uh, dress differently. You know, everybody want to be a thought and be smutting it up. Uh, you know, I'm confused. Like, all the women look the same to me. Everybody sound the same. The genre sounds the same. You know, Back in the day, like you could know where certain people was from just by their the way that they, they talk, their dialect, their speech. Now everybody sounds the same. Um, I've I've been in the South for a, a a really long time. Sometimes that Southern twain comes out, and sometimes I have my Philly accent. So, you know, what's bringing you? What, what makes you different? What makes a man? I shared this before. When you sitting at a bar, what piques a man's interest? Your energy should be speaking for you way before you even speak to this man. How are you feeling inside when you, you go out? I think I said this before in another video. Like, what can you speak about with this man to just say, wow, I want to get to know you. I want to do this. You know, I mentioned to this guy, I was at a, a nice little uh, restaurant and he heard me say I love Manhattans. And what do you know? I get a phone call today. Hey, when you come over, I got the stuff for you. When you ready to make that Manhattan, be intriguing. It ain't no woman walking around talking about something she love in Manhattan. You don't even know the ingredients within the Manhattan. You love this and you love that just because it's the latest and everybody else is talking about it. But like, what are you really doing? Like, what, what are you bringing to the table? And I'm, again, I'm not saying bringing to the table of, um, Money, sex, I don't sleep with nobody. It's contrary to what, I date a lot, but ain't nobody hitting. I'm just going to let you know right now. I date, and you, for me to give you myself, you got to put a little bit, uh, some kind of, a lot of work in where I, you know, I'm seeing something. So, you know, 
the, the one guy said to me, hey, you, you know, you want to play some chess? Yeah. You want to teach me? I'm not all that uh, where I just know everything. I would love to learn how to play chess. And so that's something for him to teach me. You can't be a I'm a know-it-all woman all the way around where you just think you know everything and a man can't. So he's going to love it when we sit down and we have that one-on-one -on -one time and he's teaching me how to play chess. You get what I mean? And he's going to, you know, we'll see if I like him. You know, we'll see. Right now I'm just having fun. No expectations. You're getting to know somebody. And most importantly, I'm getting to know how I feel even being around him. You got to be in tune with you. You got to check in with self. Hey, what's going on here? How am I feeling when I'm around him? How am I growing when I'm around him? If you're not growing and learning more when you are around a man, eh, cut your losses and move on to the next. That's all I got for today. Hope you've enjoyed. Share, like, subscribe. Email me at Erica with the C and a K at himandmyskin.com and we will chat soon.